Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I wanna to walk you through our recently completed project in Hamilton, Ontario, and show you the after footage of what we've been able to accomplish at this property. The stagers have been in and they've done a wonderful job in setting up the property and we're ready to put it on the market. In this video, I wanna show you the before and the after. So we're gonna cut from the before footage when Ben and I first walked through the property to what it looks like now so you can see the transformation. And I've been getting a lot of questions as to why we put the property on the market when the basement apartment wasn't finished yet. And the reality is that we really wanted to have the basement apartment finished, but we've been waiting for permits for so long from the city of Hamilton. I know that we're in the middle of a pandemic and a lot of businesses have had to shift to a work from home atmosphere, but I still have to say, shame on you city of Hamilton. It should not take two months to get a building permit for a legal basement apartment, especially after we waited two months to get an approval through the committee of adjustments. And that's why we've been waiting for four months. We just can't wait any longer and we have to put the property on the market because when we're carrying with private money, every day is another dollar lost for us. So we figured it's just better to put it on the market, sell it to somebody else who's going to be an end user and let them finish the basement. They can add a little bit of value as well if they have any skills that they wanna to bring to the table. So it's kind of a win-win scenario and that's why we decided to put the property on the market before we finished off the basement apartment. Before we jump into the walk around, the before and the after, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, the grand reveal of our property in Hamilton, Ontario. Wow. Oh, that smell. That smells like money. <laughs> take so, this, take the ceiling down. Yeah, we're going to take the ceiling down. I mean, it's dated and smoke stained. And, um, yeah. and then you're going to, we, we should drop some pot lights in here. Yeah, it, you don't need too many. I think you need a, at least six. But I think if we open up from where you're standing to over here, that gives our kitchen like more space and then we can drop an island in, we can do whatever we want, but it just like this will completely change the whole feel of this, of this house for sure. Yeah. So when you used to come into the front door, there used to be a little uh, wall here, a little vestibule. So we removed this wall, uh, which really opens up the space as you can see. And now we've got this nice open concept, living room, kitchen, dining area and um, you know there used to be a big wall right right here as well so the kitchen was divided up and we've opened that up and you know we went with vinyl plank flooring pretty simple um, really cost effective but looks really nice and uh, essentially this got a, a refresh on the paint um, we did all new baseboards we dropped some pot lights in here we actually pulled this ceiling down and we redid it all the electrical has been redone throughout the house. All the plumbing has been redone in this house. And most of the HVAC has also been um, adjusted as well. So we're really essentially walking into a brand new property in terms of the systems of the house, which is really nice for the new buyers. All right, in here, obviously this is a gut. Yeah, I mean, um, everything's gotta go in here. I mean, the linoleum backsplash is... Yeah, no, it's... But we can extend this kitchen. <laughs> because the windows are up high enough, which is nice. If we need to, we can run uppers over there as well. This mm -hmm. will be a big kitchen. It'd be nice. And you know, when we open this wall, you can put a nice little uh, Eden Island in here. And if we do have electrical and HVAC coming up, then we can hide it in the island. Mm -hmm. So the kitchen we did relatively simply and effectively. We used Ikea cabinets. So obviously the kitchen is all brand new. We also created this island in the center, which is a, a neat up island. Uh, the dishwasher we put in the island which posed a, f a few challenges just with plumbing because obviously the dishwasher needs to connect to the sink. But because the floor was open underneath, we were able to run the, the lines that we needed to run over to the sink underneath the floor. And then the electrical obviously came up through the floor as well and connects to the, to the main floor panel. We had to drill a new hole for the vent hood out the side wall. We have brand new appliances, obviously. And um, I think this is a really functional kitchen now. It's got lots of cabinet space, lots of storage space. Um, and essentially you've got uh, a nice little working area with lots of surface uh, to be able to prepare food and things like that. So I think it's a beautiful kitchen that turned out really well. We did quartz countertops, which is a nice upgrade from just, you know, a laminate countertop. Not a lot of extra money. We didn't go with a crazy, you know, uh, inch and a half sort of a reveal here. We just went with a three quarter reveal, which is a nice clean look. And I think it's a, it's a great value add for this, for, this, uh, for this house. So this is the main floor room, and this used to be a dining room. And now we've kind of converted it to like a bedroom and also like a bit of an office space. 
So I think the stagers did a really nice job of setting up this room. It looks so different than when we when we got the property. Uh, a nice little desk, somebody could sit in here. Also a bit of a day bed. Um, so somebody could walk into this space and look at it and say, okay, this could either be a bedroom or this could be an office, depending on what they want to use the other two bedrooms for upstairs. I think this room looks really great now and I'm, uh, I'm super excited about how it turned out. So this used to be the entrance to the basement and we obviously closed off the basement from the main floor because we created this separate apartment down there. So we turned this into a laundry space. Um, right now it's a storage for all of the, uh, the tools and stuff, but this will be coming out before, before we put the property on the market. Um, the one restriction with this space is you can't get a washer and a dryer in here. So they make a new combination unit, washer, dryer, all in one. Uh, so that's what will end up going in here and then new buyers can decide which unit they want. So we didn't end up buying one for, for the property for now because um, we don't want to make a decision on what they want to buy in terms of a, of a new washing machine. So we're just going to leave it open and they'll see that the, the hookups are all here for whatever they want to put in. So, uh, But I think it's a nice little value add to have main floor uh, laundry for them and uh, be able to you know have each unit separated. Ooh, nice. It's yeah. actually not bad. No, it's not. It just needs to be have a little facelift, right? Um, the toilet's in decent shape. Yeah, it's newer. The vanity is small and crappy. I mean, the guts are mowing, so we can change the trim if we want to. Yeah. Change the shower head. Yeah. I think the tile is fine. Yeah, it's in good shape. Just needs to be cleaned. Re-silicone. Change out the vanity if we can. And clean up the well, new light fixture, right? Yeah. The bathroom we didn't do much to, we kept it pretty much as is. We changed out um, the shower head and the taps and we added a mirror and a couple of other things, but this is pretty much as is. Um, I thought the bathroom was in decent shape and we didn't really want to tear it all apart to rebuild it. So we just left it. I think it's a, it's a nice little bathroom, but I think because we added the half bath upstairs, that really adds value to this house. It used to be just this one bathroom, but now that you've got the, the toilet and the sink upstairs, uh, this one will just function as basically a shower and the main bath for the, for the whole house. So this is a, could use a little upgrade over time, but for now I think it's fine and it suits the property as well. Bathroom up here? Tight for space, man. Because we have these yeah. in this room and you still have a closet right there, I don't necessarily, I think we'll get more value by adding a toilet and a vanity than we would have a living closet. I don't, I don't, we know that we get a shower or anything up here, so I don't even, like, we have to take from the rooms and they're not big enough. No. Uh, but I really think that if we bring this out to the casing, yeah. um, we have about five feet of depth. Or three feet, that's all we need. Perfect. So Perfect. I would say, if we can get the toilet facing this way, right? Yeah. Underneath. Yeah. And that's all like, and then maybe a small vanity. So this used to be a linen closet here as you come up to the stairs to the second floor. Uh, we decided to um, convert this into a little half bath and I think it was a great decision. We were talking about having the door here and maybe a pocket door or something or, or not a pocket door, but a bifold door. Um, but I just didn't really like the idea of the entrance being as you come to the top of the stairs. So we decided to enter from either side, um, basically a Jack and Jill entrance through to the half bath of the two bedrooms up here. And we refinished the floors and we painted everything up here, put new lights in, all new electrical. So I think it's showing really well and I think the stagers did a really nice job of setting up these two bedrooms. So like, I think we should insulate it properly and then seal it off. Yeah. Because you're right, the bed is going to have to go here. There's really no other place for it to go. I mean, you, you don't want to put it here because you have your vent. No, in the closet. In the closet. You basically be jumping on the bed to get into bed. It's like if it's a queen bed. This is really the only wall that it can go on. New light, new door. Uh, you know what, the door's in, in, in good shape. It's just, it's a solid door. I think it just needs to be kind of some new hardware and, yeah. you know, re-screwed and, and painted. So it's always nice when the stagers put a queen size bed in the property because then you can really tell, you know, how much extra space you have in this room. And although it seemed small when we purchased the property because there was really no bed in here, it's still got a, a nice little functional bedroom here and the other one's a little bit bigger. So you've got two good sized bedrooms up here and then the half bath, which I'll show you, I'll show you now. So this is the half bath here. And it turned out really well, I think. 
you know, nothing spectacular, but being able to add a toilet, a sink up here in the middle of the night, if you have to use the bathroom, you don't have to go downstairs in the morning when you're getting ready. Um, just a nice little thing to have as a second bathroom on the second floor with the two bedrooms. So really happy with the way this turned out. I think probably if this was my property, I would put some shelving in here and have some towels or whatever. But I think the way the stagers have done it looks looks really great. So we've got just over nine feet wide. If we do the same thing, close that off there. Mm -hmm. Queen bed is five feet wide, I believe. Six yes. Feet. Yeah, sixty inches. So that gives you two feet by eighty. Yeah. On either side, which uh -huh. is not huge, but it's good enough. Well, yeah. if we do take these out, what are they going? What are people going to do? They're just going to put. Uh, put a dresser in the wardrobe. So why not leave them? This is the second bedroom upstairs. I think this one is actually a double bed but it makes this room look a little bit bigger and we've got the built-ins here, which they did a nice job of setting up and showing the, uh, the closet space that's available. So again, just a real a refresh on this room, nothing terribly exciting. We refinished the floors, we repainted all the doors, changed out the hardware, um, redid all the electrical up here. So uh, I think the property is shows really well now in comparison to what it did before. And I think that whoever decides to purchase this property has the added benefit of the basement apartment, which is essentially in this neighborhood is gonna bring in about 16 to $1,800 a month in revenue. And that's really gonna change their cost of living here. So if somebody decides to buy this as a rental, it will work and it'll cash flow really well. Or if they decide to buy it as a live-in upstairs and rent out the basement, it's also gonna be a great option to offset some costs of the purchase price here in Hamilton. So. I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. I'm so excited to get this on the market and get it sold and move on to our next project. But I wanted to kind of walk you guys through and show you around. I'm gonna take you outside as well and show you what we did in the backyard um, because that's, that's had a big transformation as well. So if we put the entrance here, we can just move this staircase to there. Mm -hmm. And that fence can either stay or, or come out. We're gonna do new gutters, right? Yeah. We need a new roof. Yep. Actually, you mean you don't like the <laughs> original shingles on the house? <laughs> All right, so the deck stays, and then we just move the staircase, and then this would be our entrance for the basement here, which will be nice because we'll get another light in the basement because we keep the window there. Yeah. We can put a light in the door. Absolutely. The window in the door for light, and then we're good. Because if we drop this, we end up having, we can bring our driveway back and flare it out totally. to have two parking spots right there. And we and we don't lose any, we really don't lose any green space. No, this is kind of unusable space anyway. Nobody's gonna come back here anyways. In the backyard, we actually took down the old garage that was here uh, because we wanted to create two car parking because that was necessary to get the legal suite approved. So we redid asphalt back here. Uh, we did the walkout over here as well. But now you've got lots of area to park two cars back here. Uh, it's it's a you know decent turning radius to be able to get out uh, when you have two cars parked. So it just cleans up the backyard. Everything's looking really nice back here now. We had to redo the deck a little bit, so we had to change uh, the staircase and where it came off the property. Uh, we redid the roof and the the gutters and the downspouts, um, and basically did an entire refresh on the backyard and the outdoor space. And it's looking good. I think that somebody will come in here and, and see the, the value of what's been done to the property. Although we eliminated the garage, we were kind of disappointed about having to do that. We now have two car parking on site, which is a really nice thing to have. So hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. I'm super excited to get this on the market and get it sold and move on to our next project. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.